Well, normally viruses like influenza thrive in colder weather, not warmer weather. That's right. So we sent out CBS 17 meteorologist Bill Ray to break down the reason for the season. The coronavirus and flu viruses have the ability to spread through the air from person to person, mainly through coughs and sneezes. And they fly through the air and they land on or near you and you get them in your eyes, nose or mouth and that's how you get sick. But why do we normally see illnesses like the flu during the late fall and winter months? One thought is that in colder weather, people are indoors more within close proximity to others. Certainly when people are inside and closer together, that's a component of it. But there's also the component of the virus itself and viruses do tend to survive better at cooler temperatures and at lower humidity. The National Institutes of Health studied the make up of the flu virus and found out how the flu virus responds to temperature. The outer layer of a flu virus is made up of many oils and fats, and this outer layer is gel-like in temperatures cooler than 70 degrees. Above 70 degrees, the virus's outer layer starts to become liquid. In liquid form, the virus can't protect itself from elements in our atmosphere, and the flu virus weakens and dies out. It's a lot harder for the virus to survive when the temperatures are higher and when the humidity is higher. So does that translate to the corona, a.k.a. COVID-19 virus? There is some hope that once the weather changes, that we will see a decreased incidence of the COVID-19 virus. I think it's too soon to say for sure. Bill Ray, CBS 17 News, Raleigh.